Let's review this book. Together let's take a look. Would you buy it or would you leave it? Let's review this book. Let's review this book. Together let's take a look. Would you like to keep it or would you let it go? Tell me in the comments below. Does it make the world a better place? Does it put a smile upon Mother Nature's face? Is it helping the animals to be free? Will it help us grow our empathy? Let's review this book. Together let's take a look. Would you like to keep it or would you let it go? students and welcome to class welcome to our book review this is a book called the book of animals so many questions so many answers now the point of this class is just to see would you yourself recommend this book we're going to look at it from a critical perspective that means not that we're just going to criticize it but we're going to look and see if it's science-based if it makes sense we're looking for anti-speciesist messages so right away we see that it's about fossils dinosaurs quizzes mammals and fish so that sounds like it's going to be pretty interesting. we got some questions here, and I guess the answers are inside the book. We can assume that they are, I guess. Now, we're not going to have time to look at all of these pages, of course, because this is just a very long, uh, would be very, take a long time to do that. Well, let's just look a bit at a couple of things here. Okay, it's written in 2001. So this is kind of your first little alarm bell because if it's an older version, it might not be true anymore. But that doesn't necessarily mean it isn't. It just means that sometimes scientists learn new things and we need to make sure that we keep up with the newest uh, discoveries. Um, for example, here, what I'm looking for when it says ancient animals and we're looking at the dawn of the planet and things like that a million years ago in fossils, we're looking to make sure that there's nothing that is religious here. This is, uh, we're looking for a science book, we're looking for factual things, we're not looking for somebody to lie to us and say that the earth is flat or that um, Noah's Ark uh, existed I mean, and that all the animals went off two by two and things like that. I mean, this is just doesn't make any sense. So we're looking for science, evidence of science. So the dawn of the planet, the, the original cloud. Scientists think that the sun and the planets didn't exist about five billion years ago. Instead, an immense cloud of gases and cosmic dust whirled around and around. All right, so this sounds like it is still what's going on today with the scientists. I think they still believe in that. I could be wrong, though. You know, I am not completely up to date on the latest things. But so far, I think that this seems like it would be a good book. We've got stuff about dinosaurs here. We've got, uh, yeah, a lot about dinosaurs. And then we have the ancestors of mammals, early mammals. We talk about different mammals that existed. And oh, that's so cute. We have a horse here, but what do we see first of all? Uh-oh, we have a fence. Now, when we see animals near fences, that means that they are put behind bars for crimes they've never committed. And that is something that we don't like. So if I was reading this to my granddaughter, I would say, look, this is the mummy and the baby, and that's great. But uh-oh, a fence. That's not good because we shouldn't be trapping animals. Animals are here on the planet with us, not for us. They're not here for entertainment. But over here, we have all kinds of stuff. It seems really good. I don't see anything weird, like no animals dressed up in costumes. We don't see anything um, that shows that they are taken out of the water. Hopefully here, we see some kids that are just exploring. Hopefully they're not damaging the environment. Um, oh, at the aquarium, uh-oh. Now there's another red flag for us. Animals should not be in aquariums. No fish should be in there and no whales. And uh, they should be left in their normal homes. They should be uh, left free with their families and not taken out of the water, which is terrifying. And we should not be interfering in their, their lives at all. If you want to learn about animals, you can watch from the many documentaries that are on a multitude of channels and it's okay for example if you want to go in a little boat and look around but you shouldn't be touching any of the fish you shouldn't be going fishing you shouldn't be taking whales out of the water whales belong in the water they have their own ecosystem there and they should be left alone 
Now what about here in the stream? Here these kids look like they're doing something. I think this is relatively harmless here. I mean, this is a newspaper that they're letting down the stream. I don't think that's polluting really too much. It's just a piece of paper. I mean, ideally you would use a twig or a leaf or something like that if you're going to play. Um, but other than that, yeah, it looks great. And dragonflies. Okay, very cool. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, pond legs are teaching you about tadpoles and how they grow into frogs. And uh oh, here's another red flag here. We have this boy. It looks like he's trying to catch this frog. Does that seem right to you? What do you think? Do you think that maybe this frog wants to live his or her life alone and not be bothered by children trying to trap them? I bet you it's pretty scary. Right, so if we see frogs in the summer, we shouldn't be touching them. Just observe them from a distance. Not sure what this girl is doing here. Maybe she's trying to attract these uh, little turtles to have a look at them, but she shouldn't be touching them or trapping them in any way. And this is definitely not okay. We do not ride on animals' backs. Animals are not our slaves. They're not here for our entertainment. Now they put a smile on this turtle's face, but do you think, honestly, that if somebody jumped on your back and forced you to go somewhere where you don't wanna go, and you can't even get this guy off. You can't get him off. Do you think that you'd be happy? I doubt it, I know I wouldn't be. Leave animals alone. Don't eat them, don't wear them, don't use them for entertainment, don't take off their skin. All right, what do we have here? Okay, these guys look like they built a little hut and they're just observing. Now that's fine, it's great. Go ahead and observe nature. Be fascinated by it, learn from nature, but don't interfere. You can even, if you want, take a pencil and draw pictures of the birds that you see or the fish or the insects. Just don't trap them. Okay, a whole page here on migratory birds. Wow, naming all of them, or at least many of them. Very cool. What part I like? Uh-oh, again here, what do we have? More bars. This is something that we don't like to see. Okay, ostriches do not belong behind bars. They've never killed anybody. They've never committed any crimes. They haven't hurt these kids. Just let them live their lives. Don't incarcerate them. Don't put them in jail. Don't steal their feathers or their eggs. Okay, here the penguins look like they're in their natural environment. That's good. A nest for every bird. Okay, now they're showing some nests. That's good. We don't want to hurt the animals. We don't want to take them out of their homes. What happens here? Oh, oh, on the farm. Oh, here we go. Here's where I see already more alarm bells. Okay, these animals should not be bred into existence for humans to steal from. Now, usually on a farm like this, the cow, you see, this is first of all quite fake. It's not that way in real life. In real life, the cows are kept in tight, confined spaces, and if their baby boys are born, they are taken away, their throats are slit, their skin is removed and turned into uh, bags and shoes and jackets, and because so that humans can steal this milk, which is horrific, horrible, immoral, just plain wrong. Okay, the, we should not be taking the animals out of the wild and keeping them in barns of any kind. Here's something called the animal kill clock. These are the amount of animals that have been killed in the United States only since the beginning of 2022. So this is just one country and this is just since January and right now it is May 1st. So just think about that. How many billions of animals are killed around the world each year unnecessarily? And this is why everyone should strive to be vegan. And this has, dog has babies, that seems fine. Again, this pig, is there, see there's a fence here, so they're trapped in here. The cow gives the calf her milk. Yes, that's true. The milk belongs to the calf though, so we mustn't steal it. We can drink oat milk, soy milk, almond milk, macadamia milk. Let's see if there's anything else here. Oh wait, something here about cats. What's this? The next time your mother or father makes boiled fish, uh-oh, no, 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 no. Your parents should not be killing fish and feeding them to you. Ask for a little extra. Cut up the boiled fish and mix it together with some... This is vegan food. This part's fine. And 
soaked in milk. No, never drink milk because it is stolen from a cow. What is this? Roll it into balls, feed it to your cat. No, you should definitely not be feeding fish to your cat. In nature, do you think that a, a cat would ever jump into the ocean and take out, for example, a gigantic tuna? Tuna fish are huge. No. Feed your cat vegan food, which they can eat vegan food. Just go ahead and Google how to do it. Cats need protein, vitamins, and minerals. That's what they need. They don't need to eat other animals. I suggest you go to a Facebook group called Vegan Cats where they will help you out and show you how to ease your cat into becoming vegan. Because we don't want to kill animals for other animals. That's not our place in society. The milk of cows and goats is not only dispensable to calves and kids. Kids are actually the babies of, of goats. It's also very important for humans. Oh, no, 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 no. This is completely wrong. We do not need cow's milk or goat milk. It belongs to them. You're not a baby cow and you're not a baby goat. So their milk belongs to them. Products such as cheese and yogurt, we shouldn't be making these unless they are made from vegan products. Like you can make cheese from cashews. And um, what is this? A balanced diet. No, you see, this is where we find out that this book is old. For example, here in Canada, milk is no longer listed in the food guide as something that we should be consuming. It is uh, phased out. You should be eating a majority of your plate should be vegetables. And then you should have uh, and a little bit of fruit and you should be having some grains uh, such as oats and barley and uh, rice and things like that. And then you should also be having um, some nuts if you want, some tofu, but you should not be consuming any dairy products. So what do I think about this book? Well, what do you think about this book? I would say that if I was going to show this book to my granddaughter, I would make sure to explain that there are some things in there that are wrong, that people just don't know about, they're not educated yet. But thank you for being here today and looking at this book from an anti-speciesist perspective, from a compassionate perspective, from the perspective of an environmentalist, and from the perspective of you, who is hopefully on their way to becoming vegan. It takes 100 clicks to become vegan, and you're on your way. Thank you so much for being here today. Coming up on screen are going to be a bunch of other books. Uh, sorry, not books, videos. Have a look at them. Click on them. Let me show you around my table a little bit here. Love animals, eat plants, be kind, be vegan. Start now. Yeah. All right, here's another one. Love animals, eat plants. So this table is something that I had found in the garbage as well. One of the many things I found in the garbage. I painted it last year. Be an animal defender. Be brave. Be vegan. Start now. So as I said, coming up on screen are going to be a bunch of other videos. Have a look at them, click on them, subscribe to this channel, and press the notification bell to help me get the animals out of hell and into heaven on earth, which we create for them by being kind to them. We need to take them out of the Holocaust-like conditions that they're living in right now. Save them. Stop eating them, wearing them, or using them. Thank you so much. See you all in the next video. Bye for now. Let's follow that vegan teacher on YouTube right now. Let's help her save every chicken, pig, and cow. Let's follow that vegan.